Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you three delicious and easy apple desserts. I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com. It is fall time. Now I love fall season. I especially love apple season. Now this last weekend, we went up to Apple Hill here in Sacramento, California, and they have the best apples. So I thought it would be fun to share with you three of my favorite apple desserts. Now I'm doing this in collaboration with Vanessa over at The Lemonade Mom. I've collaborated with Vanessa before. She's one of my most favorite people and favorite YouTubers. So go over to her site. She's also making three apple recipes for you to check out. All right, you guys, let's go make these delicious apple desserts. The first one is called Apple Snickers Salad. Now, don't be scared away by this, that there are Snickers inside of it because it's delicious. First, you're gonna add two packages of vanilla pudding. These are the small three ounce packages or you can add one large six ounce package of pudding. Then add one cup of milk. If you don't have any milk, you can use water as a substitute if you want to. Then you're just gonna blend it together with some beaters. Once it's done, it's time to add the good stuff. So the first thing you're gonna add is the Cool Whip. So it's just one container of Cool Whip. You're just gonna fold in the Cool Whip the best that you can. Now it's time for the apples. I added three chopped up green or Granny Smith apples. Then you're gonna add six Snickers candy bars or there's something called Snickers Bites that makes your life so easy. And you're just gonna mix these all together. Now I like to save one Snickers bar to chop up for the very end so I can sprinkle it on top. Now it's ready to serve. Now this next recipe is called Disneyland Copycat Caramel Apple Pie and Kendra is gonna show you how to make it. I'm gonna start with one pound of sugar cookie cookie dough and I'm gonna put it in this big bowl and add about one half cup of flour and I'm just gonna combine that to make a pie crust consistency. And I find it easiest to mix this with my hands. So I'm just gonna press that until it's fully combined and then I'm gonna press it into the bottom of a spring form baking pan. And I like to do this pan because the sides come off and it just really wows the guests. So I'm just going to press this into the bottom and make sure there are no holes so the pie filling can't get through and make it soggy. Then once that's pressed in, we're going to make our pie filling. And so this is two and a half pounds of apples, about an eighth cup of flour, a half cup of sugar, and about one and a half teaspoons of apple pie spice. And then I'm just going to add a lot of caramel. We add about one and one fourth cups of caramel but I like to add my caramel as I go just so I can see what areas need a little bit more. So I'm just gonna mix that in and just add a little more caramel as I go. And then just keep mixing. Then I'm going to add my filling to my pie crust. We're just gonna put it all in and it's gonna get a little high but make sure you add all the apples. Then we're gonna cover it with foil and bake. And while that's baking, we're going to add the crumble that goes on top. So we're going to start with one cup of flour and add a half cup of sugar, a half cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one and a half teaspoons of apple pie spice. And we're just going to mix that until it's fully combined. And then we're going to add a half cup of melted butter. And just keep mixing until it reaches this crumbly texture. We're going to put that crumbly texture on top of our pie and then we're gonna put it back in the oven to keep baking. And when it's done baking, remove from the oven and add a little more of the good stuff and go ahead and serve. And for my last recipe, I'm gonna be making Instant Pot Apple Dump Cake. So I didn't forget about those who love the slow cooker. I'm gonna put a link in the description with the slow cooker recipe. So first, I'm gonna start with a little pan that will fit right inside my Instant Pot. You can use a springform pan, you can use a glass bowl even if you wanted to. So then I'm gonna add a 20 ounce can of apple pie filling. And you're gonna dump it just right into the bottom of your pan. After that, you're gonna spread it around the best you can. 
Then on top of that, you're going to add two cups of yellow cake mix. You could also add white cake mix or even a spice cake mix would be delicious. Then just pat it all around. Now you don't want to soak it into the apple, but you're going to press it down pretty even so when we put the butter on top, it won't spread all in one corner. Okay, so I have four tablespoons of butter here that I'm going to spread around the best that I can. You don't want to be mixing it in your cake mix. It will cook, I promise. You're just going to spread it. So now I'm going to add one cup of water inside of my Instant Pot. And if you notice my little trivet thing, I don't want my bowl to sit right into the water. So it's going to sit right on top of that. And that is all you have to do. So now you're just going to take the lid, put it on, Make sure that it's on ceiling and not venting. There we go, ceiling. And you're gonna cook it on manual for 25 minutes. Once it's done, you're gonna push it over to venting because we're gonna do a quick release with this one. Then when it's all done releasing its pressure, you can take the lid off and it smells amazing. Once the steam kind of goes away, then you can pull it right out. Now, I love to make this right as we're eating dinner, and so it's all ready to go when dinner is done. I love to add a little bit of ice cream on top, or you can add whatever you like to put on your apple dump cake, also known as apple cobbler. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to go over to Vanessa's channel and tell her that Kristen sent you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. See you next week. Bye.